This is Pam from NortheastWheelsEvents.com at the 2018 Fall Carlisle and we are here checking out the Sunbeam Slug. This is the 1927 Sunbeam Land Speed Record holder but this one is not quite the original as I'm sure you've been able to see. This is actually a pedal car built by Steve and I'm even going to put in his son Tom because he's sitting here eating french fries, so why not include him? Up at the shop, uh, Pro, what's that? Pro Metal Shop. Pro Metal Shop, and what town is that in? That's in Danville, PA. Let's do this, Danville, PA. Well, you're know, not going to get a great shot here. We'll pick you up in a few minutes. There we go. Good show. Now, tell me, what prompted you to build this all metal pedal car? Well, it was. Uh... You want to stand over there so this way sure. I get you out of the sun? There we go. Uh, a concept that a guy had, a fella had out west, um, sent me a picture. Uh huh. And asked me, uh, he had asked me a year previous to that, he said, uh, someday I'd like to have you build me a car. He says, um, he's into pedal cars. Oh, One okay. day he texted me with a picture and he said, Can you build this? And I said, Well, I'll blow up the picture and we'll do it. There it is. That is amazing. Now, you did a lot of research on this. Yes, we did. Um, well, we fell in love. Very good. That's how it happens. And you know, never knew of the Sunbeam before? Never. Never heard of it. Looked at it and thought, well, it's kind of clunky looking. I don't know why I want something like that. And we, uh, When we first started building it, we started reading history about it, and it became very interesting. So the car got sort of built twice. The mm -hmm. first time I built it, it was shorter and fatter, and I looked at it and I said, this isn't land speed. This is grandma's car. Yeah. So we cut the chassis in half, redid the chassis, lengthened the car, and now we have 11 feet. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. This is just beautiful. Show me some of the details, would you please? Well, some of the details back here, uh -huh. inside the frame, we took aluminum and we machined the aluminum, engine turned. Very good. Is that like the original? Was the original no. engine turned? No, the original was open. Okay. It was like an air, air funnel where they would funnel the air through because it had the two uh, V12s. V12s, right. One in the front, one in the rear, mm -hmm. all chain driven. Mm -hmm. Both motors drove to a transmission by chain, mm -hmm. which the driver sat between both of them. Whose twelve cylinder did they use? Do you know? Sunbeam. That was Sunbeam. Yes. Okay. Yes, they were they were most noted for their aviation and their their ships. That's what they used to build their. Oh, I didn't realize the yeah. ships too. Yeah. Oh, yep. okay. Yeah, yeah. So when they had the, uh, they were having their little trickle down. Right. Uh, they were having problems. Henry Seagrave came aboard. Mm -hmm. Henry Seagrave says, if we want to get noticed, we're going to have to go to Daytona. Yeah. So they built this car, used two of their V12s. Uh-huh. Took the world record. Monster. Yeah. And it stood for a long time. This yes, is a 27. Did. Yep, 1927. Now I notice you have the stacks in the back, but not in the front. You have the vents in the front. I just love this. Yes. First yeah, of all, paint speeds over 200 this, miles an hour. This would have been a little larger here. It would have been a square port. Right. But we wanted to add a little particular flair, something of our own. Uh huh. This is just beautiful. All pneumatic tires, and it's all metal, all framed out. That's just such a beautiful job. And you have the uh, grill surround, you were saying. Yes, we're going to install the grill surround probably tomorrow morning. Good. Just beautiful. Yeah, you'll see later in the video, the whole front nose lifts up and you'll see all the workings. I just have to get these gorgeous lines over here. There we go. Let's take a look underneath. The steering wheel's all hand cut. I like that. Now look at the pedals. This is almost like a recumbent. You're using rivets. Look at the details of the seat. This is really cool. Now is this modeled after the original seat? No. Wow. This is amazing. I've got to get your suspension too. There's the steering right there. It's a drop, drop front axle. Right. And it actually has um, three degrees caster. Oh. Caster, so it steers easily. That's great. And those are uh, valve springs. Ah, from what? From a diesel. From a diesel. A big diesel. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. This is beautifully done. 
Now you build chassis normally, so this is right up your valley way. Well, yeah, we did the chassis, um, but we also built the bodies, obviously. Mm -hmm. And this is all uh, metal body. I'm yep. not going to wrap yep. it. I like your frameworks. This is gorgeous, just gorgeous. And look at this nice perimeter frame here. It's a custom chain guard, obviously, because oh yeah, they just didn't have one of those. Gee, surprising. <laughs> I like that. You're going back to a jack shaft, yep. and then back to the, you can see jack shaft right there, back to the rear wheels, and then the rear wheels are just normal pedals. There we go. You can see underneath there. And it's just powering one wheel? Yep. Very good. Well, it powers the whole rear axle. Oh, okay, yeah, it's a solid axle across. Okay, very good. Very good. What size tires, just out of curiosity, are those? Uh, 480 yeah. by four, uh, 400 uh, by 8. Interesting, okay. Well, are they golf cars? Yeah, they're in the golf cart, or you can use a uh, wheelbarrow. Wheelbarrow, okay. That had, the, that had about the correct tread on it uh -huh. for like a land speed car, so I figured we would, we would run with these. Right. Um, we looked at other stuff, but nothing really satisfied us. Mm -hmm. It was too modern. So how fast have you had her up to? Uh, about four feet per hour. That's pretty good. Yeah. It took us I, a half hour to get it out of the trailer and up the hill. Oh, there yeah. you go. Okay. There's, I don't think there's going to be anybody really that ever pedals this. Any young guy. The yeah. seat's small. The yeah. pedals are big. So yeah. It's a car. yeah. Oh, come on. You mean you, you haven't gotten in here when your dad wasn't looking? I tried to fit in there. <laughs> <laughs> you have to read the chassis, though. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, we didn't make it ergonomically correct for Tom. Ah, oh. <laughs> next one. Mm -hmm. Next one, yeah. Oh, this is too cool. Thank you very much, Thank Steve. You. And we have to definitely make a trip up to, again, where's the shop? Danville, Pennsylvania. Danville, Pennsylvania. This is Pam from NortheastWheelsEvents.com, the 2018 uh, car, Fall Carlisle. For more cool events like this, make sure you check NortheastWheelsEvents.com southeastwheelsevents.com, ukwheelsevents.com. While you're there, post and share your events. I'll see you at the shows.